I'm meteorologist Peyton Malone. This is our first tropical update and don't get scared. There's nothing to watch in the Atlantic or the Gulf or the Caribbean and hurricane season still doesn't begin until June 1st for the Atlantic, but it begins on May 15th for the Eastern Pacific and something interesting. We are watching this area of low pressure. This is south of Mexico out here. This is called Invest 90 at this point. Just a broad area of low pressure at this point. Nothing terribly uh, organized with it as it moves off towards the west northwest, but the National Hurricane Center does think this will likely become a cyclone, whether it be a depression that's more likely or maybe even a tropical storm with a name that is less likely. But nonetheless, it is trying to organize some and it could do it this weekend. And if this does so, it would be the earliest if it gets a name earliest named tropical cyclone in this part of the Pacific uh, current record May 10th, so it's close to that one and it would be named Andreas. So here's where it's going. It's going to continue to head towards the west no matter what it does. So this is not going to be an issue direct impacts at least uh, for Mexico or certainly not for the United States. So nothing to worry about there. Now something interesting with this, the moisture in this uh, this storm or what it may become will start to travel to the north. This is in the mid levels while the low part of the storm will go this way. The moisture will travel up over Mexico and eventually spread up over the Gulf South. We got a cool front coming in. What does that mean? Well, that could enhance our rain chances by the middle of next week. So it's interesting to think that a storm down here in the Pacific can have, yes, indirect impacts to our weather here in the Gulf Coast area, but it could bring some moisture in and that could bump up our rain chances by the middle of the week or at least enhance our rain chances. Now we are calling for an active hurricane season in the Atlantic, uh, but it's important to know there's actually really little correlation between an eastern Pacific early storm and whether we have an active Atlantic season. However, we are calling for an active Atl Atlantic season. Remember, Colorado State put out their um, outlook uh, about a month ago. They're calling for way above average of 17 named storms, eight hurricanes and four major hurricanes. That's way above our average of 14, seven and three. So right now we are still months away from the official heart start of hurricane season, but it's just a reminder. It is just around the corner.